Welcome to the Adu Show. If you are watching or streaming this episode, thank you so much for tuning in. I have an incredible show for you guys today. I'm pumped, man. I said, bro, we're taping this on a Friday. It's amazing. It's December, bro. It's about to be 2023. I'm excited. I'm just excited for everything, man. I'm, I'm excited for the unexpected. You know, I'm, I'm just all about that positivity. I'm Listen, listen, not corny and not anything corny, but I'm corny corny that's the word nothing corny i am just so excited about the unexpected i'm really excited about everything that's about to happen with this show with my career uh guys i gotta tell you about a story um okay so let's take it back a a couple tapings actually you know what before i even get to that i just want to say thank you so much for watching i forgot how many people actually watch this show and stream this show so if you've been a supporter since day one or you're now just getting to know this a do guy thank you so much for wasting your time on some guy who has a logo that he paid no money for (laughs) okay so let's get to the real stuff uh this segment is called Story Time. <laughs> All right, so, okay, this had to be, okay, okay, this had to be March, either March or April. Uh, I forget the air date or the, the taping date. Okay, forgive me if I'm wrong. However, I was taping a show, uh, and I remember the show started because I usually tape in the afternoons, which is the time you should be watching this show in the afternoons since this show runs like daytime television. Uh, Anyway, besides that thought, this thought of, hey, it's six o'clock. It's a a six o'clock taping that we're doing. And this happened back in March. So the whole story behind this was I was up well, yeah, I, I had I was doing a couple of shows. Well, yeah, I was taping a lot of shows that day. Not a lot of shows, but we were doing a lot that day for the Adu show. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a nap like any ordinary person after a long day, even though the day for me wasn't really over. So I'm here taking a nap, right? And my phone starts like... And making all these alarm sounds and bing, 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 bing. So not only is my phone ringing, but I'm getting text messages from my producers. And and they're they're like, hey, 30 minutes until until we go on air. We got to get this now. I'm like, I want rest, bro. I want rest. I need rest. I've been working all day. You see me sweating and I lose my voice all the time. That's why every time I talk to singers, right? Every time I talk to singers, I'm like, bro. I don't want, I don't want to sing, you feel me, for a whole show, and I'm glad I'm not an artist that sings, so if you ever come to a show that has nothing to do with tapings of the Adu show, and I'm just performing and uh, recording as an artist, you will not be seeing seeing me sing, or hearing me sing, I'll tell you that much. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I, I, I might do it for fun. However, going back to the situation, it's 5.30 at this time. I'm taking a nap. A peaceful nap. But nobody cares. So I'm sitting up here. No, I'm laying down here. I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Six o'clock, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taping right at six. Don't be down here by six. We're taping at six. Bro, I tell you, when I say I, you saying bolted down the stairs, I'm telling you, it was so quick, bro. I'm telling you, my producer said, yo, where you at? <laughs> That's what he said, where you at? I'm like, I'm napping. Give me a break. <laughs> it's been 12 hours. <laughs> We've been doing this for 12 hours, bro. These are not just ordinary shows, all right? All right, I, I, I want to give the best of the best, and I don't even think what I've done on my part is the best of the best. So I'm going to give more, and I'm going to do more, and I'm going to be more, and I'm going to go big, you feel me? Okay, 
and challenge myself. That's that all has to do with challenging myself to a higher standard, to a higher level, and I love it. However, going back, I know I might be loud in your ears. I'm sorry, you guys. I barely made it. I literally, right when I ran through these doors that I see right here, I literally jumped in this chair and read <laughs> what I needed to be reading for that taping. And actually, I had a guest co-host on that day. And what you guys see, I'm not going to tell you what episode that was because it was... It, it it, it 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 no not not gonna not going to do that. However, that episode was actually really amazing. That whole taping was amazing. I had amazing. I, I had I had I had amazing people on there. Uh. Uh. FYI, if you ever run into a timing problem, or no, if you ever run into being late for something. And you're right in the building or the room that you're supposed to be doing the work in. And you're running late doing what you're supposed to be doing at the time that you're supposed to be doing it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what to say. You know, you're going to just have to figure it out by yourself. <laughs> no, I, I... No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I think if I did not work... As hard as I did, because I will give myself that credit. I did work pretty hard that day. I remember I was exhausted from all the work I was doing. And it really was fun. Worth it. Worth the exhaustion? I don't know if it was worth the exhaustion. Because I I, I tell you, I did. Uh, <laughs> it, it was something, I tell you. I When I when I say I, I literally was like, yes, we're doing the do so. Come on. Welcome to the AD show. Oh my gosh. And the teleprompter was going in and, and it was so loud in here. And everybody was like, what is this guy doing? I'm like, I'm taping a show, bro. I just woke up. Bro. <laughs> and luckily I had no sleep in my eye. I had no crust. I had nothing in my teeth. It was just, it was crazy. But I love doing this show, man. I really love doing this show. I think we have about 32 episodes left uh, to tape. But we booked all of them. <laughs> and I am so excited for you guys to watch the last couple of episodes running in season one. For real. Okay. Why am I looking at the ceiling? These are some pretty lights. I really love these lights. We changed them, and I really like them. I really, really like them. I, I, I really like these these lights. They're really bright, and and I remember um, I remember when they got changed. I really, really liked it. I really, really like these lights. I know. I, I, I really, really like these lights. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I'm serious. I know you guys cannot see them. However, they're really bright. You feel me? They're really bright, you know, you know, and shout out to the producers because they, they do some, uh, some good contrasting when, uh, the light doesn't look natural. Cause I always say, Hey, I want natural light and da da da. And I don't, you know, with, with, with me and also the guests, whether they're in person or, uh, on the TV, whether they're guests, guest co-hosts or, I'm having a guest appearance or we're doing a takeover episode. Everything has to look natural. Um, yeah, I was going to say everything has to look natural to a degree, but why not everything look natural? Just naturally. Originally. Okay. I was going to say ordinarily, but that does not not make sense. Okay, you guys got the just. All right, here we go. I'm excited because we can go to the next segment. <laughs> okay, because I'm wasting time and the timer is about to go off. So I'm going to say what I always say when I have to transition to something else and a commercial or an ad is about to pop up. Okay, 
Stick around, there's more of the Adu show after this. To the Adu Show, my guest for today is an incredible musician, teacher, performer. Help me welcome Julian Pajos Qual. I did it right, right? I did it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. No, you're looking yeah. at me like I didn't do it right. Well, the, 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 maybe the middle name Pujols. Get get the H Pujols, in there. Pujols. Pujols. Yes. Julian. Yeah. Julian Pajos Qual. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. That was perfect. Well, we're not editing that out. So we're we're going we're gonna to keep it in there so people know. Like, I actually get names right. I actually do. <laughs> I love it, man. It's funny because I actually have... I don't have an American name, actually. Yeah. What, what, uh, uh, what's your full name? A do before Quajo Yaboa. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Say that again. I, I didn't hear. A do before Quajo Yaboa. A do before Quajo Yaboa. A do before Quajo Yaboa. Yeah. Yeah, you so got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I know these American. Listen, 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 bro. I get it. Listen, I've been dealing with this since I was like five years old. Every Same. That, <laughs> every teacher that has seen me, they're like, "Ah, uh, yep, that's me. Yes, what you're <laughs> talking about." <laughs> But man, yo, I'm thank you, thank you for doing this, man. Thank you for doing this again. I love that you stopped by. How you doing? What's up, man? Good, good, great. You're all right. Good. I know you. Yeah. You're, you're you're really busy, and I know this is like a last minute thing. But man, I'm just so excited because I was like, man, I got him. I got Julian. I got Julian on the show. Okay, so, uh, man, I got. We have so much to talk about. However, in just a short period of time, uh. Uh, I know you've been on a journey with music. Uh, how did it all start with you, man? Well, uh, I uh, started by um, when I was like around eight. I was in uh, uh, my my mom um, and my, my parents uh, got me in the community choir in Chicago. And um, so I started singing and it was really, really fun. And my dad was showing me a little piano back then. So um but I, I didn't I didn't really take to it until like a year later, and when I saw the the choir director playing, and it was and I, I kind of took to the choir director's way of playing the piano. So I was like, well, that's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so then I started taking piano lessons when I was nine, and um, and I mean that's that's basically how it began, just singing and 
and playing the piano. Yeah. I, I, I it's funny because like when I first start, saw you and I, first of all, I wasn't even introduced to you by any of, uh, of course, our mutual friends. However, I was like, you know, of course, I see everybody on social media and I was like, man, who is this guy? Because first, the first thing that popped in my mind before I even saw anything that you you were doing was classical. Like literally before I saw anything, I was like, is he, is this, is this guy must be classical trained because the, the, the way, the way I've been hearing a little bit of these snippets, uh, is, is, it's wild to me. Uh, and it's wild in a good way because it, I love, I love listening to music that's out of my genre and I love it. It really just puts a smile on my face. Uh, yeah. I don't, but like I said, yeah, I don't know why. However, from the first time that I saw you in my head, all I saw was an artist. And I thought, man, do you ever get, do you ever just get lost in music? And like when you're performing live or just by yourself creating? Um, that's a, that's a, that's a great question. I mean, it was interesting. You, you said, uh, classical that you, you, you heard me, uh, you know, playing somewhat classically. I mean, that's, that's how I started to play. I, I started learning classically and, um, and, uh, you know, the, really the, the interpreters of the music, cause that's, that's mostly what classical music tradition, the tradition is nowadays is, is how to interpret music and how to, um, understand, uh, the, the composers of, you know, a long, long time ago. Um, and, yeah, I really took to recordings and like trying to understand how um, musicians like Rubinstein, Arthur, Archer Rubinstein and Vladimir Horowitz and, and um, Alfred Cortot and all these guys, you know, how they interpreted music. So I, I, I definitely was very influenced by the classical stuff and, and um, yeah. And, and then, um, yeah. And then I got into like jazz um, especially recently, kind of in college, really, I started practicing jazz and, and, um, cause I'd always heard it all my life. My dad is a huge jazz fan. So, um, I just kind of decided I wanted to, wanted to explore improvisation and composition because I, I'd been composing in high school, but, um, not in tandem with, um, improvisation. So I, um, I kind of wanted to more explore that side of things because all my friends were, or um, basically all my friends were doing it, so yeah. I wanted to do it, you know? <laughs> yeah. no, no, I, I know what you mean, man. I, I, I know. I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of got in that same boat, too. I feel like everybody, to a degree, in a, in a sense, kind of does that. And I know I was one that was like, hey, put, put, put me in there. You feel me? Just throw me in there. Let me see what I can do. And stuff stuff of that nature. Now, you, you've you accomplished a lot through the years. And I, I cannot wait to see what you will do one year, two years, five years, ten years from now. Uh, and, you know, this literally, guys, this is the literally the first time we've meeting. Like, we just met like ten minutes before. Like, it said five, four, three, two, one. Uh but what would you say has been your most meaningful accomplishment uh, up until now? Wow. Um, wow, I haven't thought about that. I, um, hmm. I think really just getting to, um, getting to play my music with, with the people that I, um, with my friends who I respect so much and, um, you know, are such great musicians. That's a huge thing that I value, you know, so much. Like my, uh, um, a friend of mine, uh, uh, Ethan is a guitarist. And, uh, probably see him around in Baltimore, a great guitarist. And he's, he's been my friend for, you know, three years now. And, and even before I played jazz and, and it's, it's a great, uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing that, you know, now, now that I am, you know, writing a lot of stuff in the jazz idiom and the, um, improvisational idiom, you know, now I get to play with my friends and it's, it's that, that, that's a huge valuable accomplishment. Um, uh, I, I guess, I guess that's, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the, the accomplishments, I, I, I didn't really do like that many competitions or whatever. I, 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 um, I did, I did a couple, I did a statewide competition in Illinois when I was in high school and 
I, I, I placed, you know, I got second place or something in some classical s- stuff. Um, but, but I mean, yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't know. <laughs> How's it going? This is my roommate, Charlie. <laughs> Another great musician, Charlie. Charlie Record Fowl, everybody. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Oh, I, I love it. No, I love it. I love it with. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. You know so crazy. So we were doing a show. We were doing a show a few uh, tapings back, and a guy just said, "Hey, bro, we're ready for band rehearsal, bro. I'm on a taping right now. Calm down." <laughs> I'm like, "Bro, chill. It's okay. It's all good. Like it, it happens, bro." But I love, I love when, I love when I see other musicians coming. They're just, it's just casually happening because it, yeah, I, yeah. sometimes I'm just like, "Yo, I can't wait to meet that guy." And, and it's just amazing. So you, it's, it's all good, man. It literally, I, I, I tell you. It, it Baltimore, man, hands down, and Sean Jones said it himself, man. One like the greatest, one of the greatest, or even the greatest for musicians to come out of, man. Like, like hands yeah. down, bro. DMV, uh, but let me get specific. Baltimore, bro, Maryland, we got it down together, and you feel me? Like a lot of special people come from here. Uh, even though this is yeah. not a Baltimore-based show, I just want to make that clear. This is worldwide, so people in Australia, Australia, or Warren Wolf, Warren Wolf, Quincy Phillips, yeah, uh, yeah, you can just go on. I mean, I don't know. I love them Butch- all. Yeah, Butcher Brown, they're DMV, but yeah, yeah, tons of uh, Brandon Woody, yeah. great, great musician, you know. Yep, Brandon Woody. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he's amazing. People, amazing musicians, amazing creatives. Uh, yeah, man. I I gotta ask which one. Okay, you enjoy you you enjoy doing performing live or recording music. Well, I just I just started, you know, uh, getting the hang of recording. I'm I'm definitely not um, uh, a a seasoned recorder of music. It's it's very it's a very different process. I mean recording and, and um, you know, just taking the time to, to get things just exactly how you want. You just, you have the time to be able to do it. So, you know, it's a, it's, it's kind of a foreign process to me even still. So I, I recorded something on organ last week with, with um, Aiden, uh, Aiden, uh, Aiden Taylor and Colby Royston and Ethan Bailey Gould and, um, and Theo. And um, yeah, it was it was it was a uh, it was interesting for, for for how simple it it was, you know, the part that I was playing. It was it was definitely a different process. So I mean, right now I, I definitely like I like performing and, and um, would like to get more uh, acquainted acquainted with uh, recording stuff. Yeah. You just named some guys that just give me butterflies, man. I love them all. They are just so inspiring. They they give me so much love, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you for being here, being here on this show. It's been amazing. You're amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much for this, and congratulations on all your successes. It's been amazing, man. Thanks for stopping Thank by the show, man. Let me see if I can get his name right because I, I, I listen, listen. I'm good at names, man. I'm good at names. For more information on everything Julian, head on over to Julian Pujolsqual.com. Stick around. There's more of the do show after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the Adu Show. This segment is called Imagine This. Okay. Imagine you are recording a YouTube video. And this is for all my content creators out there. 
and you think you're recording but you're not recording and you have the best shots the best camera the best mics the best collaborators and the best setting <laughs> what i don't even know what i'm using my fingers for i keep doing this and this and then i keep wiggling around like uh, uh octopus arms or whatever okay uh and imagine you get it you didn't get any of it on camera like what like imagine that bro imagine you had all that time to film and you didn't get not one minute not one second of filming or one second of anything was recorded that's scary as a talk show host do you know how how bad of a nightmare that would you do you know how uh of a nightmare it would be if that had happened to me or to somebody else who is a content creator and put so much time into their art into their creativity into their video and i'm like are you serious what if you went to new york and did all of that with the best cameras, the best footage you, that you thought you recorded, and you and you you blew it. <laughs> really, I'm 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 honestly saying that you blew it. No, I'm not blaming you. You didn't blow it. You just made a mistake and not clicking the red button or the green button or the blue button. Or the button that says record or the button that says or that is meant to record the the, the thing that projects the i don't i don't even want to get into it okay this was a great show i loved it i think we're out of time <laughs> you know what's so crazy sometimes sometimes you know the crazy part about doing a show like this i'll do a show and i think everything is working and then a producer <laughs> even while we're working remotely on this show will be like or he'll be like Adu we're not getting any uh, anything in our ears we can't hear anything I'm like huh I'm like none of your listeners none of the viewers are going to be able to hear this it's a problem. <laughs> and I'm like, do you know that we have a limited time to do each and every taping? And so that is just a nightmare, honestly. We really have the only, the only, the only thing which has never happened before is like, we forget to do something. And I know if we forget to do something, we find out the minute we start taping the show like literally the minute the music starts going and it's like okay it's like oh no why oh gosh okay this is gonna be terrifying <laughs> in the longer run or watching the playback after i already messed up the whole thing or somebody that works with me messed up the whole thing nah i don't really put the blame on people it's not my personality it's not my character well sometimes i do no i'm just <laughs> i try i try my best man i try my best i try my best you feel me i love this show man oh my gosh okay i gotta stop smiling because if i if i keep going it's gonna be a whole thing uh man but yeah it, it's been amazing man this show this show is really amazing i, I get to do this all the time and it's like a a, a a a thing that i was supposed to do that i never really aspired to do but i really like to do that's all the time that i have for today if you would like to view clips from today's show 
head on over to my YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Also, if you want to stream full episodes of the show, you can since the show is on all streaming platforms and all of those streaming platforms are available for download on the Google Play Store and the App Store. And finally, make sure to tune in to the Adu Show every day, only on YouTube.com and on all other streaming platforms available. I want to say thanks to Julian Pajos Qual. Stay cool, live life. Until next time. Oh, <laughs>